Let's look at another example. This problem also involves grades, but there's a credit no credit Boolean variable. When its value is true, the grade is going to be credit no credit, and when it's false, we'll use the regular numeric grade. In this case, credit no credit is true, grade gets assigned 90, and on line four, we have an if statement. The if condition is true, so we enter into the body of the if statement, which contains another if statement. Its Boolean condition is also true, and so we move into its body, and grade gets assigned credit. Now let's edit this code and rewrite another version. We're going to use a single if statement this time, as opposed to having two separate if statements nested within each other. We need both conditions on line four and the one on line five to be true in order to execute the code, assigning grade the value credit. We achieve this by using the AND operator to combine the two conditions. Both need to be true in order for the body of the if to be evaluated. Now let's visualize the execution. Before we evaluate that second code fragment, we want to make sure that we set the grade back to its original value. On line four, we have the first if statement. That condition is true, as well as the next one, and so grade gets assigned credit. Starting over again, the if statement on line nine both operands of the AND operation are true, and so in this case, grade also gets assigned credit. These two code fragments are equivalent. Let's expand on this example. We're going to add an else clause on line seven, where grade gets assigned no credit. Let's examine the conditions under which grade gets assigned no credit. The credit no credit condition must be true and the grade greater than or equal to 50 condition must be false. Now let's update this other if statement to match. We have a condition that we need in order to print no credit, and that is that it must be a credit no credit grade. And we also would require that grade must be less than 50. However, the only way that credit no credit is true in the ELIF is that if grade was less than 50, causing the first if condition to be false. So we don't need to say anything about the grade, and we can go on to setting this to no credit. Let's walk through this code to see how it's going to run in this no credit case. We set the grades to values less than 50 and visualize the execution. For the first code fragment, credit no credit is true, and the grade is less than 50. So we enter into the else, and grade gets assigned no credit. Resetting the value of grade, we look at the second code fragment where credit no credit is true and the grade is less than 50, so that if condition is false. We then skip to the ELIF and check to make sure that credit no credit is true before moving on to setting the grade to no credit. 